Time Super Bowl champion Rocky Blyer is a beloved icon in our town and among all the Steeler Nation, not just for his plays on the field, but for his courage that took him to the battlefield and back against all medical odds. You can hear his story in an inspirational play presented by Pittsburgh Public Theater called Simply Enough. The play. Rocky captivates his audience in this one man performance, a true story written by Gene Collier. Last year's show sold out, so if you missed it then, here's your chance to see it in nine shows only starting tomorrow night. We are pleased to have Rocky with us this morning. Good morning. And good morning to you. Thank you. So, well, I, you know, first of all, I yes. want to thank you for squeezing me in between the Grinch and Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> but right after cocktails, really but it's right after right. cocktails, it's perfect. I thought <laughs> we do have a fun show lineup today, <laughs> we, don't you we? You do. That's right. So let's talk a little bit about this play. How did this all come about last year? Did Gene approach you and ask you about this oh, idea? Oh yes, yes. So this, uh, I mean, the play has been really in, in 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 production for the last three years or so. Yeah. Um, to be able to bring it uh, again this year back to the public, uh, but it it it, it we, the first uh, time we had to, we did it was a one man show at the at Heinz Hall. It was mm -hmm. a big big uh, theater and um, so um, we, it was just it was a, an evolution of thoughts and a, about doing a, um, a thing on the Steelers in the play and behind the scenes and all of a sudden Gene says no I think there's more to your story that should be told um, and so he said well let's put our heads together and of course, he put his head together and, and wrote a wonderful, uh, wonderful play. So you've done a lot, uh, you know, football star, oh, legend here, Pittsburgh. It's just a lot on your resume, if you yeah. will. Did you ever think that acting would be one of those? No, I did not. Of course not. <laughs> you know, but it, it was, um, it, 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 and it's something evolved, and and so it was. Uh, um, everybody that's been involved with this uh, program, all the the tech, Scott Weiss is the director. And, oh my goodness gracious, he's done miracles. With me to be able to be, be able to put me on oh. on a stage, and so uh, so Let it's been a collaborative effort by everybody, and, and it's it's, it's been a great experience for me, and it's a, and, and to be able to bring it back again I'm this year um, for those who have not had an opportunity to be able to see it, uh, um, to be able to uh, come during the holidays. And so we're seeing now some video from last year. This is you out on the stage <laughs> alone. That's right. What is that? What is that like? Again, not being an actor and, and kind of jumping right into this, not having someone to lean on. Is is it terrifying? Do you find it exhilarating? Like what are well, you? Kind of both. It's all the, it's all those things put together because it is only you. It's not as if all my life it's been a team effort. I mean, right. I could hide behind ten other guys, you know. <laughs> the, the, and so uh, the mistakes I would make uh, were not shown by by everybody. But uh, here, you're you're it's you. And so uh, and it's it's not only just knowing the lines and the story. And people say, well, it's your story. You could just kind of make it up. Well, well, but <laughs> it's got to flow because right. the, otherwise I have to talk to Gene Collier afterwards. <laughs> Right. And so, um, it, uh, it, but it's also being in the right spot, right time, hitting your marks, as they say. Make sure that the spotlight gets to you because it's all part of that big production. And so that has taken um, some time just to be able to learn that. And so where where is the setting? Because we're seeing the... I don't, not a karaoke machine. It starts in a bar. That so like yeah. So so the whole idea is that it, it it morphs through it morphs through my life, but takes place in three bars. My invitation uh, to the audience is to, to join me on this. Uh, um, uh, on the show and, and and to come with me. So we started my 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 dad's bar um, where I grew up, and we talk about that part of my life. And then it morphs to a Pittsburgh bar as we come to my early year, years here in Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it goes to my home bar in the third part, and where I do reflective of how we uh, were able to sustain the 70s uh, as a, as a championship team. And it touches upon other parts of our life but it's also a period of time that becomes somewhat you know historical as we look back uh, in what had taken place here in Pittsburgh with the Steelers but more importantly what was taking place within our society there was a, 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 a protest against the war Vietnam right. War during that period of time civil rights movements were uh, going hard and strong and so all of this was all tied in through a period of time and especially reflective here was the history of the Steelers and took place in the Super Bowls and how the 70s were able to change uh, how we perceived uh, what Pittsburgh was about. I love some of the reviews. Um, this could be a bonding experience between generations. You know, grand, uh, grandfather may remember watching you on the field and, and the Vietnam War. Yes. The grandchild is going to relate as well. Very much so. So, you know, so the audience, most of the, most of the audience, 
are my age, <laughs> you know, who go, oh yeah, we remember when we were all kids growing up and through that period of time. Um, and then I've gotten feedback from those who had been to the play in the past, is that it really is a part of history or part of our history and a part of what had taken place, as I'd said before. So from a generation point of view, to be able to bring their, their kids back and now their grandkids back, just to have an understanding of what took place uh, during that period of time and what, maybe what Pittsburgh was like and some of the stories that had uh, transpired uh, is is a bonding experience. So let's talk uh, kind of current day. Coming yes, back right. from an injury, Shazier. I mean, oh, watching right. him go through this. You know, it was such an uplifting thing to be able to see him um, at the game right, um, on Sunday. On, 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 uh, on Sunday. Uh, and, and to say, okay, fine, he's up and he's out of the hospital. And, so right. on. and it's always a, and especially when you talk about a vertebrae injury and a spine injury, uh, there is so uncertain, not that I'm a medical doctor, but there's an uncertainty of what really could happen, you know, later on. So, but it's also a mindset from uh, Ryan's uh, point of view of, of how he perceives it, what's going to happen, and time will heal, and right. doctors will have advice, and, uh, and, and we'll see um, where his career goes from there. Shall we talk about the catch on Sunday? Since we're already well, we talking can. about the game. We're what talking about the game. My goodness gracious, it's all, you know, it's all part of the game. So we're talking about it because it was against us. Yeah. You know? And so if it, was a, if it was a catch, it would be... It, <laughs> Mm -hmm. The people, the people in New England would be saying, "No, no, no, no Jonathan, it wasn't, right, it wasn't right. heaven." Um, and you know that's an unfortunate thing, but it's also part of the game. And rules have changed, and that rule specifically has changed over the period of time. In one, when we were playing, yes, it would have been a touchdown because all I had to do was cross the plane of the goal line when at that time. Playing, when right. We were playing. Now you have to have control all the way through the movement, uh, and so. Now we get elect electronics um, to be able to pinpoint every little mistake back, that might have been right, So, um, so there's always a, but it, but it makes for the controversy of the game and the excitement of the game and the rematch that'll be coming up somewhere later future, on in yeah. the future. At least it wasn't the Super Bowl that happened. No, right? that's right. Yes, imagine? that's right. We got another chance. <laughs> right, that's right. That's we'll right. just continue. We'll win this division and we'll go on from here. We will. Okay. That's right. Always nice Thanks. to see you. Same here, Heather. Thank, Thank you, you for very much for having us. me. And you want to keep, come see Stellar, Rocky Blyer, uh, of a Steeler, excuse me, Rocky Blyer, returned by popular demand for nine shows only. It is Stellar, I should say that, for nine shows only of the play presented by the Pittsburgh Public Theater December 28th through January 6th. Call the box office for showtime and tickets or go online. You'll find the link at kdk.com slash PTL.